AS into level 2. Magnetic particles testing. Specific examination. Note, note down your answers in notebook and verify with my answers at the end of video. Magnetic particles testing is a non-destructive testing method used to detect surface and slightly subsurface discontinuities in ferromagnetic materials. It is an essential technique used in various industries such as aerospace, automotive, and manufacturing. The process involves applying magnetic particles to the surface of a material while it is magnetized. If there are any defects present, the magnetic particles will be attracted to them, indicating their location and size. The importance of magnetic particles testing cannot be overstated. It is a reliable and cost-effective way to ensure the safety and integrity of critical components in machines and structures. By detecting defects early on, potential catastrophic failures can be avoided, saving lives and preventing costly repairs. In this presentation, we will explore the different types of magnetic particles testing, the equipment needed, how to perform the testing, and how to interpret the results. Question point 1, demagnetization, ASTM E709-95 recommends a coil of ampere turns, 1000 to 300. 300 to 50 hundred. 5,000 to 10,000. 10,000 to 15,000. Question point 2. According to ASTM E709-95 when dry particles are used magnetic particle testing shall not be performed on the surface of parts whose temperature exceeds 57 degrees Celsius. 79 degrees Celsius. 158 degrees Celsius. 136 degrees Celsius. Question point 3, according to ASTM E709-95 in using prod technique, prod spacing shall not exceed, 50 mm, 100 mm, 150 mm, 200 mm, question point 4, according to ASTM E709-95, the UV intensity shall not be less than, 600 PWENR. 700 PWENR. 800 PWENR. 900 PWENR. Question point 5. According to ASTM E709-95 in using prod technique on a 50 mm thickness plate with a prod spacing of 101 mm, current shall be selected in the following range, 300 to 450A, 400 to 500A, 500 to 625A, 550 to 700. Question point 6. According to ASMTE 709-95 alternating current electromagnetic yokes should give a lifting force of at least 1.5 kilograms. 2.5 kilograms. 3.5 kilograms. 4.5 kilograms. Question point 7. According to ASTM E709-95 direct current electromagnetic yokes should have a lifting force of at least, 15 kg. 16 kg. 17 kg. 18 kg. Question point 8. According to ASTM E709-95 the UV light shall be centered on, 3000 A, 3250A, 3400A, 3650A. Question point 9. According to ASTM E709-95 when fluorescent particles are used, the UV light intensity shall be above, 700 pWcm. 800 pWcm. 900 pW centimeter 1000 pWm. Question point 10. According to ASTM E709-95 when fluorescent particles are used, the bulb shall be warmed up prior to use for at least, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes. Question point 11. According to ASTM E709-95 with prod technique, the prod shall be tipped if the open circuit voltage is over, 1 OV. 
15V, 20V, 25V, question point 12, according to ASME section 7, a linear indication is defined as an indication in which the length is equal to or greater than the width by a factor of 1, 2, 3, 4. Question point 13. According to ASTM E709-95 the viscosity limit of the wet medium should not exceed 1 CST, 3 CST, 6 CST, 4 CST. Question point 14. According to ASTM E709-95 when applying fluorescent magnetic particles technique, the operator shall be in darkness area at least. Prior to examination. 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes. Question point 15. According to ASTM E709-95 the alkalinity of conditioned water shall not exceed 10.0 pH. 10.5 pH. 11.0 pH. 11.5 pH. Question point 16. According to ASTM E709-95, with wet continuous magnetization technique, the duration of magnetization current is of the order of 0.5 seconds, 1 second, 1.5 seconds, 2.0 seconds. Question point 17. According to ASTM E709-95 in using prods having a spacing of 19 mm and above, the magnetizing current shall be from 90 to 110 a 25 millimeters from 100 to 125 a 25 millimeters from 90 to 120 a 25 millimeters from 100 to 200 a 25 millimeters question point 18 according to ASTM e709-95 powder shall be applied upon the part to be tested in such a manner that a light uniform coating is formed in excess coating all of the above. None of the above. Question point 19. According to ASTM E709-95 before turning off current and examination, dry powder in excess shall be removed by a dry air current. Kept in place. All of the above. None of the above. Question point 20. According to ASTM E709-95 demagnetization can be performed by decreasing alternating current, reversing direct current, all of the above, none of the above. Question point 21. According to ASTM E709-95, Table 3, alternating current electromagnetic yokes must have a lifting force of at least 3.0 kilograms. 3.5 kilograms. 4.0 kilograms. 4.5 kilograms. Question point 22. According to ASTM E709-95, Table 3, direct current electromagnetic yokes must have a lifting force of at least 15 kilograms. 16 kilograms. 17 kilograms. 18 kilograms. Question point 23. According to API, the acceptable particle concentration of wet particle solution for fluorescent particles is 0.1 to 0.4 milliliters by volume. 0.1 to 0.5 milliliters by volume. 0.1 to 0.6 milliliters by volume. 0.1 to 0.7 milliliters by volume. Question point 24. According to API, the particle concentration of wet particle solution must be checked prior to each shift. Only after each shift. Only each week. Only each two weeks. Question point 25. According to ASTM E709-95 and API, the UV intensity measured at a minimum of 38 cm at least shall not be less than 700 pWm. 800 pWcm. 900 pWm. 1000 pWcm. Question point 26. According to ASTM E709-95 and API, 
in order to eliminate all contaminants, an appropriate cleaning shall be performed on all the surfaces to be examined and on a minimum of adjacent material. 25.4 mm, 31.7 mm, 38.1 mm, 44.5 mm. Question point 27. According to ASTM E709-95 and API, the temperature of the dry particles can be usable up to 38 degrees Celsius, 2000 degrees Celsius, 49 degrees Celsius, 315 degrees Celsius. Question point 28. According to ASTM E709-95 and API, the thickness of non-conductive coatings will not exceed 1 to 10 mm, 2 to 5 mm, 0.02 to 0.05 mm, 0.001 to 0.004 mm. Question point 29. According to ASTM E709-95 and API, relevant indications are produced by greasy surfaces. Excessive background. Leakage fields. Rotating eddy currents. Question point 30. According to ASTM E709-95 and API, when fluorescent particles are used, the UV bulb shall warm up prior to use for at least 1 minute. 2 minutes. 3 minutes. 5 minutes. Question point 31. According to ASTM E709-95 and API, after removing magnetization of parts after examination, the residual magnetism shall not exceed 3x 10 degree T. For x 10 inch T 6x 10 T 8x 10 T question point 32, according to ASTM E709-95 and API, a linear indication is defined as an indication in which the length is equal to or greater than the width by a factor of 1, 2, 3, 4. Question point 33. According to API, a non-relevant indication is defined as an indication which in the major dimension is equal to or less than 1.59 mm, 2.4 mm, 3.2 mm, 4 mm. Question point 34. According to ASME Section 5, with fluorescent magnetic particles technique, the operator shall be in darkness area at least. Prior to examination, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes. Question point 35. According to ASME Section 8 DIV 1, Appendix 6, on pressure containing welds whose depth is greater than 15.8 mm, which of the following indications is unacceptable? Rounded relevant indication with a major dimension less than 3.2 mm, rounded relevant indication with a major dimension less than 3.2 mm. Rounded relevant indication with a major dimension greater than 4.8 mm. None of the above. Answers for all questions, please share and subscribe my channel for more videos.